When weighing up the options, most Europeans look at price before nutrition. Currently, more than half of Europeans are overweight. The UK ranks top of the obesity scale, with Ireland and Malta not far behind. In an effort to keep consumers better informed, the EU agreed a provisional deal on clearer food labels in the early hours of Wednesday morning. But would it make it any easier for consumers to make the healthy choice? Who can read what is the difference between coal hydrates, uh, saturated fat? Uh, so a lot of people think they know, but they don't really know. And that's a pity. MEPs want to put the burden on the food industry. All labels should show energy, salt, sugar, protein, carbohydrate, fat and saturated fat content on the back of the package in a legible font size. This means back to the drawing board for food manufacturers. Artwork will need to be changed and the changing of artwork automatically incurs a cost. The average business that has 10 different models of packaging to accommodate the changes could be looking at a, an €80,000 bill. Price increases will ultimately be passed on to the consumers. Though industry will be forced to change artwork, they won the battle to keep the nutritional information on the back of the packet, with the support of the member states in the council. We want to have the energy content on the front page that, unfortunately, the council didn't accept when it comes to adding vitamin C or something and that kind of stuff, suddenly they have all the room on the labels on the front of pack. But if you have to say, but be aware, there's also sugar in it or fat, then suddenly it doesn't fit anymore. The provisional agreement will go before the full house in July. If voted through in two years' time, look at the back of the packet and you'll be able to decide between the price to your health or to your bank account.